Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Vale, there was once a small and humble village named Kasmar. The village was loved by many. However, the small village has seen its dark ages. We begin our story on the one who started it all. Fabian Blake, the Lord of Casmar. Many were intrigued by him. He was a descendant of the gods, a celestial angel of healing and immortality. Those who stood by Lord Fabian looked up to him. For a long time, he believed to be the only celestial angel in the kingdom. That is until a fair maiden came around. Her name, Lady Imora. She too was a celestial angel. Together, Lord Fabian and Lady Imora happily ruled the village of Kasmar. Until one day, darkness fell upon the kingdom. The kingdom of Vale was ruled by a great king. One day, the king was sent on a voyage with a few of his men across the land. Whilst on the village, he encountered many fascinating things. However, nothing stood out better than a hidden cave within the mountains. While searching the cave, they found a book that was locked. In great desperation, the king wanted nothing more than to read the contents within. With a slash from his sword, he opened up the book and began to read the first sentence on the first page he saw. However, to his despair, soon they realized they have made a great mistake. The great spirit demon, Shadow Reaker, had awakened. The king tried desperately to warn his kingdom that he cared deeply for about the dangers of Shadow Reaker. However, he was too late when Shadow Reaker consumed the king's soul, and he began his search for the great powers only held by celestial angels. It wasn't long until Shadow Reaker found Kazmar and learnt of Lord Fabian and Lady Imora. Lady Imora and Lord Fabian tried their best to protect the village from Shadow Reaker's reign. But at last, when things were looking grim, they only had one option to save the lives of innocents in their village. Together, the two of them sacrificed themselves to create a divine soul barrier around Kazmor. This soul barrier would keep Shadow Reaker at bay. 
Their sacrifices was witnessed by many who lived within Kazmar. And those who bear witness of the divine soul barrier also knew of the two children, Lady Imora and Lord Fabian left behind. As they grew, many of Kazmar watched over the two children. in hopes that one day, their daughter would be able to stop the reign of Shadowweek. But do they truly have the powers of celestial gods? What are you reading? <gasps> oh, it's just you, Todd. You scared me. You're back? Wow, that's the hello I get after being gone for two weeks? <laughs> ha ha, very funny. Seriously though, you scared me. Welcome back. How was your trip and everything? Uh... So what do you got there? It's an old tale of Kazmar. It's quite interesting. Wanna read it? No, thank you. I'm not into fairy tales. How long have you been out here by yourself? Uh, ah, um, well, a long time actually. I went to the library at the crack of dawn and before the place became busy, I came here, and this was our favorite spot and all. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Hey, Todd. Yeah? Uh, well, in my story, there's a character named Shadowweaker, and the story seemed so real that... And intense, actually, that I was wondering, is Shadow Raker real? Or is it not real? I, I can't really tell. I don't know, it's just something about the story, it's... It's... Those are just tales of folklore, Nova. The folklore of the lady and the lord were just tales to tell the children. And the demon, Shadow Wrecker, is just there to scare them. Oh. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I forgot that I was reading fairy tale and not history this time. <laughs> this is what happens when you constantly read books. Now come on, let's go into town. You smell that? The bread smells so good! <laughs> I do, but we have bread at home. We don't need any. But it's warm and fresh! Our bread at home is cold, and it's had bit stale. Mm. Not today. 
I'm sure the old merchant will have some tomorrow. Those merchants are always selling long-term goods. Say that your bread smells really nice. Why, thank you, kind young lady. Would you like some? I'll give it to you for free. I would love some. Thank you so much. Todd, I. Uh, Todd? Todd! Wait up! supposed to wait for me. Oh, sorry. I saw that Kovark sign was up. Ah, I see. We're visiting Kovark today, huh? Look, I told you, sir, this sword is not for you. You can deal away with whatever you've got, but my answer is still no. Uh... Sounds like someone's getting on Kovark's bad side today. Everyone knows that Kovark gets angry easily. When will outsiders learn? Come on, let's go. Look, I'll give you the count of three to give me your sword or else. And I'll give you to the count of three to leave. Yeah. Who are you? Okay, okay. I'll leave. If I can keep your darn sword, it's nothing but tin foil anyway. I was wondering when I'd see you again, boy. Long time no see yourself. And as well as you, Nova. I'm glad to see you're still around. Of course! I never leave the village, but... Kovark... Who was that guy? Why did he want that sword so bad? Ah, that young lad. Well, let's just say he followed me for my trip to Weston Village. I suspect he was up to no good, which was why I was trying to boot him out of my shop. You went to Wellston? How come? Why, yes. Word on the docks. I heard the guardsmen needed armor and weapons, and they were short a blacksmith in the village. Since, uh, their first blacksmith got decapitated. Uh, decapitated? How? Ah, uh, the old lad wasn't a very smart one. It was his own fault, that is. That's terrifying. <laughs> Nonetheless, it is the normal life of a regular old blacksmith like me, with just a hint of an accident. Hmm, nice sword. <laughs> Aye, you have good taste. This sword is something that has taken me days to work on. It isn't finished quite yet. What is it made out of? Obsidian from the depths below, and perhaps some netherrack from hell. The strongest material you could ever get your hands on. Ooh. Can I have it? Nova, you haven't touched a sword your entire life. The only thing you ever had was a dagger. What makes you think you can use a sword? Uh... Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to start learning now. Hmm, the little lady does have a point. I tell you what, I will give you this sword once it is finished. As long as Todd, my boy, you teach her how to use it. If anyone gives her problems in the village, Nova can shut them down in an instant with this sword. Deal? <sighs> Fine. Deal. Okay, now run along, you two. I have a customer to tend to. I'll have this sword finished by tomorrow morning. See you later, Kovark.
saw them, I saw them, I saw them, I saw them! Shadow Reekers are here! Oh no! Todd? It's him! Hold it, old man cook. Slow down before you cause an uprising. What is it that you saw this time? This is Ch Shadow Reekers! Seize the old man! Hey! Be nice! The man is old after all! Nova, stay back and don't interfere. <laughs> Your brother is right. Stay back if you know what's good for you. Ugh! Let me go, you hooligans! I'm innocent, I swear! Says the crazy old man who tries to startle a village and cause panic every day. Alright, old man. I am giving you a warning. You are not allowed within the village for three days. If we see you in the village of Kazmore, I will not hesitate to throw you in the dungeons. You hear me? Escort him out of the village. Yes, yes sir. sir. The old man has been warned. If anyone sees him within the village for the next three days, report him! Also... Todd, I heard you were looking for that position you talked about with one of my men. Come see me when you're ready. Uh... <clears throat> I'll explain later. Come on, it's time to head home. Found you! Angel of the Gods!